John Gill was my second video, uploading the same time as my first of course, but this is the second and trying to address the problems I encountered with the first, such as my tendency to mumble too much. I'll address it. Try to work out the kinks with my recording to, in the end, provide you with the best possible YouTube experience. Because I'm just such a nice guy as a dictator of ecos, you know? Duh. Anyway, talking about one of the Star Trek comic books. Star Trek comic books are not canon for obvious official reason. But if you were ever searching for a reason, why ever you would do that, that comic books shouldn't be canon, this crap would be it. I was trying to think of a word that it wouldn't make YouTube call adult content on this video, and crap is something every six-year-old says anyway, right? It's the most harmless word I could think of, and a far cry from what, well, this crap deserves. Like, who comes up with something so fu- uh, uh, freaking dumb? So darn dumb, so ah, so fucking fuck it. I'm just going to mark this fucking shit as for adults and do all the swearing this fucking shit deserves. Fuck it. I will try to do it with as little spoilerizing as possible in case you actually want to read this nonsense, even after hearing this review. Like, maybe I'll just mention Mohawk badass Wesley Crusher, though. Or the lesbian couple Tasha Ya and Rolaren. Or the almost sex scenes with Picard and Guinan. And what the fucking fuck of fanfiction slash fiction fantasies were going through the head of the person writing this crap? Like, yeah, I said the word, it's basically slash fiction. Pairing of TNG characters in whatever kind of relationship. And on top of that, it turns characters into whatever weird mutation that whoever might think would could be totally cool, like Mohawk Wesley. Oh, and Deanna Troyes was concubine and basically sex slave. Well, basically everybody is everyone's sex slave. Like, who the fuck comes up with this less fiction crap? Like, who the fuck is so depraved in his mind in the first place and then actually gets to get an official Star Trek comic book publisher to pick up that kind of crap? Now I gotta backtrack a little bit, sorry for the outburst. I know slash fiction has been an integral and vital part of Star Trek fandom since the beginning. I don't want to judge or condemn any condemn or anything. In fact, it's great fans are the way they are, writing the stories they have in mind, having their own ideas about characters on the show. I don't want you to think I'm against any of you. I love Star Trek fans being creative in any way possible. I don't mean to disparage anything in any way that you as fans come up with. I love fan fiction and whatever you as fans have in mind as to how you want fan fiction to be all the power to you. Because for me, Star Trek means you should be able as a fan to imagine it in any way you like. It's not just something I expect from something official. Fans having fantasies about characters getting together is one thing. It's funny and it can be cool, but from a fan perspective, hmm. I'm sorry. It's funny and it can be cool, but from a fan perspective, there. It's what you get when you script things, but don't script the pronunciation like the emphasis. But is official merchandise just randomly pairing off everyone with everyone? That's just dumb. It's something that belongs to our imagination as fans. It's something that belongs to people who love slash fiction as fans being fans. Not just something official where it's just cheap and dumb and especially in these comics is so completely overdone because it's literally everyone was everyone. It's just fucking retarded because the actual fucking story, if you can call it that, some convoluted time travel crap, but oh yeah, spoiler rising, Captain Braxton from Voyager Altering the timeline so everyone from TNG is in a timeline where everybody is in a slash fiction world where every TNG character just wants to fuck every other TNG character. And it's a TNG orgy because Captain Braxton interfered in the story of Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country. And Wesley shades a Mohawk because he's the only one not fucking some other TNG character in some slash fiction fantasy. What the fucking shit is this fucking shit? 
There's more spoilerizing stuff. I could tell you about Data and Zulu and Captain Garrett from yesterday's Enterprise, but you really don't want to know, not because you don't want anything spoilerized, but because you don't actually want to read any of this crap. Of all the Star Trek comic books I've read, this is easily by far the worst, and honestly, who approved this fucking shit to be released to, be, to the public? It's just a bunch of slash fiction pairing of popular characters to fuck each other with a dumb as fuck story that makes no sense and only exists for the sole purpose to justify the slash fiction nonsense. Just skip this one, it's really, really fucking stupid.